the next options in our left toolbar we have a text so let's go ahead and click and create one and you'll notice we have it now text editor and so as we're going let's look closer in our text editor what options we have it so currently you notice we have a text already pre-typed and you can change in your text box before we look on these tabs below let's go on the top and you'll notice right here we have create new load save render preview and this is will render with currently lighting settings where we have it we can also change preview options from opengl to after render just let's leave it as default we have a zoom in and out you can also zoom in and out by using your scroll wheel if you have it on your mouse we also have it options to reset point on this case if for some reason you um, move something else you want to reset so you can click and reset to default we also have it options to reset zoom uh, reset rotation reset pan if you use it and uh, next options we also have it increase or decrease amount of polygons and for the text it's not that important many times however if you import vector graphics that you can use instead the text in some cases you want increase or decrease depend on the complexity or smoothness you want to achieve with your polygons so now let's go look on our view menu and you can notice right here we can scroll up and down panning we also if you're using right mouse button click you can rotate kind of preview and different and if you let go it's kind of have a small animation so you can if you start moving and release the button as you're moving so it will kind of start rotating the view a little bit okay so let's go ahead set back or we can always reset it okay right here after view we have it at four tabs first is a text and here we can type text so let's go ahead okay we'll just go a giga plane um you notice we also have some additional properties vertical spacing and alignment and they're not available till um you have it multi-line so when you have the multiple line available now we have our alignment spacing available as well we have our vertical spacing and a horizontal spacing you can slide items or you can just click on the boxes and type in notice it will work in the um, percent below this we have another group where we can specify a text style so currently it says Arial, and you can look on all these different properties different type um, of the font you may have it installed on your system so for example we can select these ones or let's go to select impact the reason is it's a little bit thicker so we can preview a bit better so you can see it's kind of thicker font you also have a type um, if it's come with a font thin normal blood uh, block thick and also italic as I mentioned before you have an import graphics if you have any vector graphics like logo or other things you want to use you can use it this import vector graphics for this and of course, if you have pre-saved styles, you can load it some styles for your font. Okay, so next tab we have it, it's a barrel. And currently, right here, you can see we have it extrusion applied and extrusion applied by default. So let me go ahead and uncheck. We have just a flat view. Okay, and as a bevel, you almost on the edge, we can start applying a different type. Okay, by default this goes straight. You can also have it predefined different type. You can use it with depth, uh, cups, and also set on a rear. And currently, because no extrusion applied, we cannot see on a rear. If we enable right here, you can see we'll have the same things apply on a rear or our font. Um, again, if you want, if you don't think you will render. Um, a rotating logo or other things from the back I do recommend removing it's every small option will increase um, or render time or amount of polygons will use it so you want to minimize for optimization you also have the option beside using 
bevel profiles you can use it custom and by double time clicking you can open a filter library from which one you can select it specific pre-create or save the splines that you want to use it you also can have it internals like right here if you see inside the text we can use it internal bevel for this as well okay, we can write here this one internal bevel if you want to be a little bit different so let's uncheck for now we'll just use the one that apply for both of the sides so next we'll look on extrusion and sort add this thickness to our font and 35 centimeters so we can increase decrease um, also if you're using not the flat profile for example if using growing profile now additional options is a enable its amplitude percent so for example here's showing how much this percent will increase or grow so if i want to grow just a little bit we have a symmetrical extrusion if you want it bevel scale and as well different type including also custom extrusion as we need it okay next let's look on the materials and you notice right here we have options to edit materials for the cups, extrusion, and the bevel. So you can have three different. You can always, and if you enable rear bevel that currently we disable, so it's not available for us. As well, if we disable any of these options, they won't be available as well. So you have the options to double time click and go edit this material specifically through the material editor or if you have it some already predefined so you can select and select this um, material and you use it as well you can use it the scale um, notice right here interior it's same as exterior if you disable you will have additional options to use it separate materials for the rear for extrusion internal or uh, barrel so the all options is available with a lot of uh, kind of flexibilities and a lot of creativity you can create for the vector graphics or for the text so think about this it's a, not just a text editor this is also um, vector import and you can use it not just for this material you also can apply um, volumetric material and create it clouds out of the shapes or clouds out of the text so you have it multiple way as well you can animate it and you can use it maybe even as the water animation create liquid so don't just uh, think about as a text with the materials and other options you can create a very interesting effect overall here is our text we just created and this is a text editor from um, root 2015